Hello and welcome back to Farmer Talk on a simply glorious morning here in Exmoor. Hmm. Photographs, photography, pictures. We all do it, some more than others. For what it's worth, I think people should take more pictures. And I just say, take a picture a day, or when you're doing something, just take a snap. But if you're out on your bike, this is a bike. The good old scrambler, no less. It's great to take pictures of it. So what I thought I'd do is, we've got a couple of locations I want to go to this morning, and I've no idea, this is the whole thing about photography, I've no idea how the light will work, which is critical. But I thought we'd go there, and I'll just ramble, as usual, and chat through how I go, the process, the process I go through to come up with, hopefully, a reasonable picture. Well, the foothills of Dunkery, actually. Mmm, it is a lovely morning. So, photography. What are the rules? Well, the first rule is there are no rules. Whoever said the camera doesn't lie <laughs> was maybe not as honest as they were purporting to be. Think of a camera as a blank canvas. And, okay, to get the most out of photography, the camera does come into it. You do need different focal lengths of lenses, etc. But it is a blank canvas, and you can manipulate that to get the image that your eye wants to see. Now, I don't want to make that this is, I want to keep this bit simple. But if you think, just remember that. Take the picture with your eye, in your mind's eye. Let's just slow down here. For instance, here, I was chatting to you, but I was looking for pictures. And I can see loads just here. Morning, sheeps. Ooh. Not Triumph fans, obviously. Hello, sheep. There we go. Now, see the light? We're looking into the sun here, early morning sun, and the light is coming from behind the lamb where the ewes co the, the ewe and the lambs just come up. And that would look quite nice with a, uh, the, the lamb sort of silhouetted against the sun there. And as I look round here, we're in the foothills of Dunkery Beacon. But I won't get too heavy of what's I want to go up to the um, top of the hill here. Right. Let's go. Are we okay? We are okay. Now, most people... Sorry, I'm interrupted again. That's the Bristol Channel you see reflected over there. And whoa, whoa, <laughs> does that look good. Now I have a location in mind, it's a car park above Porlock. But I might not get there because there's a couple of laybys as I go up here. Early morning runner. So constantly look for locations. We'll just pull in here and we'll have a look. Okay, location one. Well, this, <laughs> see, this is how it can go. I I'm, was planning to go further down the road, but I thought I'd stop here because, <laughs> well, because if you don't stop and look at a view like this, something's wrong with you. And uh, and I suppose you could look at this view two ways, couldn't you? Some will say, what a gorgeous motorcycle. Some will say, move that frigging bike, will you? 
doesn't matter. There are no rules, remember? So what have we got here? We've got the sun coming straight at us. So that's going to silhouette everything. But it's reflecting off that Bristol Channel rather nicely. So what do we do here? Well, we back to one's mind's eye. You frame the picture you want to see. So, so I have here my best camera, ha ha, my iPhone. Everyone's got a phone, so let's go to camera. So, sorry to wave around here. So what do we got? Well, first we check the lens is clean, and it is. Now, hopefully you can see that, and I'm shooting up there, and straight away, I and mean this is a pretty evil test of, these cameras are good, but when you shoot straight into the sun, flare is a real problem, and uh, so you can see that that's showing up there. But this has got the three lenses, the wide angle, which I'll tap on, there, that's the wide angle. One, which is supposedly normal perspective-ish. Um, in other words, what your eye would see. And then let's come in and, and zoom in there. Now I can zoom in even more if I want. I can come up and then come right in like so. And actually, the incredible thing about these phones, this is the latest um, 11 Max. So it's got, the, let's say, obviously got the three lenses. So this is a pretty fairly state-of-the-art um, uh, phone and uh, no reason I can't just take a snap like that now I'm not really I'm, I'm what am I thinking I'm trying to balance it in my eye I want the bike and uh, this is a predominantly bike picture so, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn the bike around because I think it might look a bit better the other way around so I've just moved up a bit and what have we got here that's at one times, so I'll just take a snap there. And I framed that quickly and taken a picture, and I'm sort of happy with it, but I'm sort of not. So the whole idea to, to go with this vid, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna move things around a bit. I'll move the bike a little bit, I think. Looking at that, I think I'd like the bike a bit sideways, and, and it's angled over there. So I might look for a rock, a rock, to see if I can get the bike angled. And we'll have another look in a moment. Right, I've just moved the bike around and put a little rock in it. And that's better. But I'm still not happy. I think I want the bike to look, to be angled a bit more. And, and I'm then looking at details. And if you see there's a horizon just over the mirrors, I'd like the mirrors to, I'm going to make sure the mirrors are just below that. I quite like the reflection of the bike there. So I'll take this snap there. So this is the scene on video. Well, I'm just doing it on the iPhone here as well. And I'm just going to swing around. And that looks, that looks okay. Quite like that. Interesting light. It's not classic light. The bike's got loads of shadow on it. I can, uh, in Lightroom afterwards, I could bring that up. I think it's quite an interesting picture. And the, the three horizons that we have crossing before the water with the fields down the valley. Hmm, that, it's quite interesting to all my eyes. So. Well, that's a first insight. Get the right glove as opposed to the left one. <laughs> and uh, gives you an initial idea. Um, we've got another location which I quite like photographing bikes in, uh, that we will go to. Let's see where that goes. And uh, lovely. I keep saying there's no rules, and, and that's the main thing. Whenever you're anywhere near anyone who seems to be handy with a camera, pick their brain, ask questions, and then put your own into a lovely scarified tree. We'll just amble off Dun Dunkery Beacon to our right, 
up there. There you are, you can just see it. And, uh, uh, yeah, and put your own interpretation. The technicalities of how to use a camera can be learned. The, the basics, the main things, if you want to learn which areas, uh, exposure, that's the amount of light that the, uh, I used to say film, the sensor receives, you know, whether it's under or overexposed, whether it's dark, whether it's light, <coughs> pardon me, and depth of field, and exposure is, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's a really complicated subject when you go into it. But you can, and with previews and things, and if you and with digital cameras, you can take a picture and see, and then have another go if you're not happy about the exposure. Um, depth of field is really, as you get more advanced, really important. And uh, if I'll have a look in the comments to this one, and if there's uh, if there's enough people ask, I'll do a video, and maybe I'll do more videos. I probably will. Uh, I'll certainly do one. I've been asked quite a few people on what cameras do you use. So that could be a, uh, a nerdy chat about different cameras. And the taking of the pictures. I mean, I always find it fascinating. You know, constantly learning and the way technology is going. Oh, blimey. Uh, phones, for instance. Don't get me wrong, a decent camera. I mean, at the moment I'm using um, Fuji Film X-T3s and uh, my iPhone Max is, n is nowhere near the abilities of that. Can the iPhone take good pictures in the real world, especially as everything's looked on on social media these days? Yes, it can. does uh, make putting effort into and and skill I guess skill ability having a good eye can you tell the difference does an iPhone just magically take photos great photos for everyone no it doesn't there you go right onward and downward hmm that sounds familiar great to be out on the scrambler again and yeah, pretty, pretty easy to enjoy it on a morning like this and in this location but uh, just heading down to we're uh, going from Exford to Winsford those tractors are always there <laughs> mm very patriotic with the flags. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa, 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 chatting and chatting away and uh, didn't realise that we are here. Yeah, right, we are here, we are here. We, you and I. Correct. Don't think we want fourth, do we? How about neutral? That'll do. Right, let's have a look. Okay, location two. Well, let's have a look. I'll do a quick pan on the uh, iPhone. On the iPhone, right. There we go. Now, I'm in wide on this. So I'll just pan through and... It's it's almost like a little quarry. Um, it's a little... On the face of it, it's nothing. You just drive past it and think nothing. Hopefully, I can... Um, I can... Uh, we, we can make something work photographic-wise. Oh, I just popped the drone up, which is a bit of fun. Can that can look at us while we're taking a picture? So let's get the pannier off here. And it's always this is I find this a fun bit of taking a picture. It's just setting up. For instance, I've got the GoPro here, so I want to try and take a decent picture. So I'll just wind that off. That will do nicely. We'll get gloves and the remote here off. Come across. And all the time I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the photo. I'm thinking about light. 
And I keep going on about light, don't I? Hmm. Obsessed. Obsessed with light. <laughs> hmm. Right, pop that down there. The other thing that's handy that I thought I brought but didn't, but I do have this, which is just remarkable how often you come to take a picture of something and it's not dressed. I mean, what can catch you out on a bike? Oh, well, dirt, obviously, dust. Uh, where the uh, tyres are, ha the alignment of the wheels, etc. Just come back a bit, stand in the middle of the road. But, uh, but that looks pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good subject, isn't it? So my job's easy. Okay, well, I've got the Sony out here on the tripod. And, uh, and I'll just focus in on this. This isn't, this is my general go-to. I think it's a great camera. Sony RX10 III, killer feature. It's a so-called a bridge camera, but killer feature is a 24 to 600 millimeter optical lens. Now that is a staggering performance. And from a photographer, if I heard that, I'd be cynical and think, oh, that's not very good. Now, you know, it wouldn't match a 6,000 pound Nikon le uh, 600 mil lens. How could it? But it's surprisingly good. So, uh, that's what we're using today. Okay, so we'll come back and have a look at a bit of framing here. And I'm just going to muck about with the light and things and see what we've got. Uh, I mean, already, straight away, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the composition, but um, I will, as I said before, switch to guns and uh, we'll have a look at this in a photo. So... Uh, I might want to put one on Instagram later, so let's have a little look. So I'll change the format on the camera to square, which suits Instagram. And then, uh, do I want the trees in or not? Yeah, maybe. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The thing is, you can play. So we'll do that, and then I'll come in a bit more. And we've got, now this is getting nearer to the photo I'd like as an end result. <laughs> so there you go. Can you see that? Um, and that's interesting where one-to-one -one for uh, Instagram. Hmm. Now I'm going to muck about with the uh, Sony. Let's switch it on and see what we've got. I'll uh, move the drone around a little and we'll have a word in a little. In a, We'll have a word in a little. We'll have a word in a bit. Okay, so got the camera on the tripod. Now, I didn't realise carrying a tripod around is a, a bit of a pain. But once you have got one, uh, your photography goes to another level because you have to you stop and think and you have to frame a picture. And if I can, let's see what this good old iPhone can do. But here, I mean, if I point here, whoops, it's a bit difficult here because of the scale of the camera. But I've got a grid coming across there. That, that's quite useful. And you can just check levels and framing, etc. And I come back to this thing of framing. And uh, if I then come to the camera here as I zoom out, which is 24 mil, uh, which is a very wide angle view, obviously. And now I'll, I'll come through uh, just for fun. I mean, I'll z <laughs> here we go. I'm going to zoom right in just for fun. This now, this is I'll just move on my camera. Now, this is there. Look at that. Um, just move the focus point to there, and look at what I could do. That shows that's that's six hundred mil. Uh, pretty useless here, but jolly useful elsewhere. And let's come back to a photo where. So I'm mucking about framing, uh, framing the picture. Also, a tripod gives you time to. And if I come back to wide angle here, bang, there we go. Uh. Now you can see then, you can see what the camera's looking at, but you can see the bigger picture. Ha ha ha. And muck about and see it, what you play and, and see what you can get the camera to look to. And uh, you'll have a load of fun. Now I've just taken uh, a few frames, uh, slightly different angles 
and on if I zoom out here, there, click that out, and the sun flaring everywhere, you can see, come back in, just over the bike there, bong, there, is a pool of light. Now that will show up quite a lot. So I've tried a picture with it, and uh, if I come back out here, you can see the pools of light around the bike. I quite like the bike in the shade at the moment. Uh, but I've taken some, and I'm, I'm watching the sun, which is coming round now. I'd like to see it maybe in 10 minutes' time, a bit further round, and just see how the light goes and whether the picture will improve. Uh, as I say, I've got a little bit of time, uh, so that's the fun thing. It may not. I don't know. Uh, all the fun of the fair. But it's thinking outside outside the box, I don't know what you mean, but just trying different things and different locations and uh, yeah, all good fun. The sun has just come around a little bit and if you just look just above the tank, just on the tank, there's a little sparkle of light reflecting which it's just coming around on the crash bar so it's just lightening it up. If we could get a bit on the exhaust which is just happening, I'm constantly taking pictures here because you never quite know when the right time is but uh, so if I could I just take a picture now there so I think I've got it framed how I'd like and I've got that huge bank of rock behind and um, it looks like slate but it isn't it's ironstone so yeah fingers crossed I think this picture is evolving in front evolving today's word evolving and uh, yeah this is I'm quite pleased at the moment and I mentioned earlier color temperature uh, of the light basically uh, the scientific side of it is is light is uh, there's a temperature of light believe it or not and it changes during the day this will be very crude but basically temperature is much warmer in the mornings and evenings and colder in the middle of the day and the result of that that's it's a warmer and it is a warmer light uh, you get more reds etc and uh, everyone thinks oh lovely sunny day great for photographs well maybe maybe not get to the middle of the day and the light can become very harsh and cold in photographic terms this is not so good uh, Hence, early sunrises, sunsets, etc. But that isn't a rule. <laughs> Remember, there are no rules in photography. <laughs> well, job done there. Got a few pictures. Two locations this morning. Hopefully... <laughs> Those of you that really know how to take pictures will be laughing your socks off. Well, you'd have switched off straight away. What's the idea of this? It's just to give you an insight into my, an initial insight into my thinking of how I go about looking for images. And um, hopefully that's been helpful. I'll do a vid of the cameras I use, get them laid out on the table, just do a quick overview of those. And yeah, and if you'd like to see more, slightly more advanced stuff on photography, let me know. As always, be great to hear from you. Lovely to be out on the scrambler again. Just ambling, where are we going? Uh, I think we're going down towards Winsford. Yes, we are. Definitely going down anyway. The light's changing. My tummy's rumbling. Could do with some breakfast. Happy days. Thanks for thanks for watching this vid. More coming soon. Bye for now. <laughs>